Lisa Tan, Editor-in-Chief of Flare Magazine, and I'm here with Joe for Kayok. What a great show. Thank you. Thank you, Lisa. Every time something came, I want that one, I want that one. It really, how would you describe what your look was this season? What I wanted to do this season was um, I wanted to mix up a random textures that you can put together, and the whole show was, was styled in the way that you can put that with that and then that with that piece. And the whole feeling that I wanted to, um, that I was trying to project was it was about sexiness. It was the mix between classic and edgy and sexy. The, the collection was... Um, but that's a key word. Yes. It was really sexy. I think, too, I, it's hard to... The challenge for me was to make something um, sort of a subtle, intelligent sexy as yeah. opposed to an obvious... Well, it's not all cheap sexy. No. It's no. very intelligent, like you say. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and, and tonight, the crowd loved your show. Thank like, you. it was easily the most uh, exuberant uh, applause I heard. How does that make you feel? It's great. I mean, I, the industry's been so supportive and, you know, and I get really nervous and, you know, and I, I hope to just put out the best work that I... That I possibly could do this season and you just hope for the best. Well, you shouldn't be nervous because that was brilliant. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. That's it. It's the end of day two at L'Oreal Fashion Week in Toronto. And I'm really looking forward to the shows tomorrow, including Andy Tayon and Comregs. So I'll see you then. <laughs>